Welcome to my channel. This is Dawn with Pink Chair Gaming and this is the island of Bon Voyage. And I am so excited to present this island to you. It is literally a train trip through the countryside and I'm so excited to show it to you. This has been my favorite island I think I have ever created. I had so much fun with it. And before we get started, I do want to give credit um, to another content creator, Frida Buns, and I will be sure to include a link to their uh, channel in the description. They gave me the idea for this island. They did this same concept, and I commented on their video. I was like, this is the coolest island I think I've ever seen, and she was like, please go ahead and do one yourself. I'd love to see what other people's um, take is on this concept, and so here's what I came up with. And I can't wait to show it to you. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to start with the map. And where you see the road, that is the actual train uh, destination through the island. And our villagers, we have Poppy, Rudy, Silvana, Ione, Ursula, Bangle, Mint, Filbert, Peanut, and Whitney. All right, so for my entrance, um, I wanted to do something that would kind of force you to go towards my resident services area. Um, and so this was the concept that I came up with and I am definitely very happy with how it turned out. And as you cross the bridge, you go towards resident services and you can see the little sign that says, hey, the train is this way. But before we actually get on the train, I do want to take you through this little park that I have out front here. Um, it's nothing huge, major, whatever, um, but I like how it turned out. And as you can see in the background, we do have our train station. So without further ado, let's get on the train and embark on our journey through Bon Voyage. And as we go through our journey, I'm gonna try and not to talk a whole lot because I just want you to enjoy it as it was meant to be enjoyed. We do have some cute little strawberry fields on the right and on the left I've got a little fishing spot. And as we come through here we're going to pass our first small neighborhood. And then here we're going to get off on our very first stop on our adventure and this is a snapping turtle beach where you can enjoy nature at its finest. And over here, of course, is the pier to catch a ride with Cap'n. All right, let's get back on the train and continue our adventure. I wanted to try and create a winding path that went through like a canyon area and this is what I came up with and I love how it turned out. Alright, here's the second stop on our tour and this is going to be our campsite area. 
Um, but before we get there, I do want to show I created a little um, like supermarket area, general store area for the campsite. All right, up this way is the actual campsite. On this lower level, we have some extra tents that I've set up. A little food area. And some more tents. And then as we make our way back this way and go on up, we have the bigger campsite. And then as we go down here, we have a little shower area. All right, I think I hear the train getting ready to leave. Let's make sure we don't miss it. Coming up next is going to be our next neighborhood. It's just a small one, but I thought it turned out really, really cute. And as we cross the bridge, we get to my favorite build on the entire island. And this is my covered bridge. I am so happy with how this turned out. It just looks so realistic. And I, I'm, as I say, it's definitely my favorite build on the entire island. All right, continuing through, we come across a little farm area. And then continuing on, there's a little orchard to go with the farm. And on our next stop, we're able to stop at a little apple stand where you can pick your own apples, get some jams, or eat some tart. Back on the train, continuing our journey. Who can resist a beautiful countryside train ride where you're able to look at the beach? For our next stop, we can actually stop, get off at the farm, and feed the chickens, or pick some fresh produce. A 
across the way, we have a very small fishing town. Down here towards the beach, we have a cute little uh, fishing store where you can sell your fish that you've caught. And then moving on over this direction, we have a couple of small houses. And of course, you can't have a fishing town without a lighthouse. Time to catch the train and head back to town. Alright, here we are. This is our final stop on our tour. And as we get off, we can actually go over this direction and look at a little greenhouse area that we have. Alright, let's head into town and do some shopping. There are a couple of small houses here that have a great view on our little fishing town. Our first stop for shopping is Able Sisters. And I love how this turned out. I like the little table over here. You can do your little sewing projects outside. Really happy with how this turned out. Next in town, we have Nook's Cranny. Very simple, but I thought it turned out good. As we continue through town, there's a little post office here where you can send your postage to another island. And then as we make our way down the beach, who can resist ice cream? All right, that's it for our tour through town. Before we leave though, let's make sure to stop by the ticket office and purchase another ticket for another train ride. Alright, here we are. This is the main ticket area where you can purchase your tickets for the next train ride. Over to the left, we have a little souvenir shop where you can purchase clothing for your adventure or, of course, some cute little gyroids.
On the other side, we have a cute little diner where you can catch a snack before your ride. Downstairs, we have a cute little museum area. And upstairs is a small apartment. All right, that concludes the tour of my island. As I said, this has been the most fun I've had creating an island in a really long time. And I'm thankful for you to come enjoy my tour with me. But for now, that's going to be it. Please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.